Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with a cancer for the month of May 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get a Virgos coming with the hang in the hangman in reverse, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot card. So Virgos, it looks like there might be a, there was a little bit of stagnation between you and your Cancer here, Virgos. Maybe even a little bit of selfishness, but you guys are much more better than uh, looking down on anybody here with the Ten of Cups. So you guys just want to make sure that your family is okay, your relationships okay, that you're more focused on the the happiness and the healthiness of this home for you with the Ten of Cups, Virgos. Uh, you're definitely grounded, but you're also very much so protecting your heart space here as well. You've been through a lot and or this cancer has been through a lot for that matter it's not just like oh they've been through little tiny stuff no this person's been through a whole lot of stuff in their life virgos and they still have a they they can still be resilient with the nine of wands to the queen of cups like you would never know how much pain this person has actually been through never in life would you ever think that this person's been through anything because the way that they carry themselves the way that they are so loving and so, nur so nurturing nur so nurturing and they're always there for everybody else. This person is the type of person, Virgos, who goes through so much darkness in their life. But no matter how much darkness that they go through, they are very well aware of the dark. And they are well aware of their shadow self. And they're very much so well aware of the light and the dark too. But they always do the best they can to stay above it and ahead of it. And they're always emotionally uh, balanced and so much love and care for this person, Virgos. I mean, the amount of pain this person has honestly gone through, you wouldn't even be able to look at them in a different way if... Uh, if they were to ever be able to tell you the things that they've gone through because they don't look like their past, they don't look like their pain and that's because this person is a very loving and they use their heart space here too so they do everything out of love. Uh, it looks like you guys want to go towards this person, uh, King of Wands, Virgo's Chariot card. So your Cancer is going to be coming back towards you or your person's going to or your Cancer is going to be coming back for you Virgo's or vice versa, okay? They are still holding on to you. They are more so controlling and possessive in some sort of way with the King of Wands to the Chariot card. Like this person seems to be very selfish at certain times, but it looks like they're making a move to come back towards you guys. So you, some of you guys may have found out about a three-party situation and you guys decided to walk away from it, Virgos, knowing damn well that you guys are not going to be putting yourself in a position where you're going to end up getting breadcrumbed here by anybody or getting or getting the half end of a stick, for that matter, Six of Pentacles. Your intuition is you guys come off as very aloof with the Queen of Swords to the High Priestess. Like People really do underestimate you. People really think that you're too dumb, Virgos, but you're far from it. You're very much so. You're well aware of everything, Virgos. People know, and you you also know, Virgos, of everything that's going on around you. You're, you're so... You're so amazing, sweethearts, and even if you do act like you don't know something, and that's because you deep down already know, and you prefer to let people lie to you so that way you can catch them in the aha moment, and you guys can keep up winning uh, Six of Wands because of the fact that you guys have the the intuition, the psychic gifts, Virgos with the High Priestess, Queen of Swords, and the Six of Wands. You guys are always going to be winning. That's why you guys never decide to put people down or treat people the way that they treat you because intuitively you know that you'd rather let them screw themselves up than you screw yourself up by by karma. People are going to have to pay for Virgo Six of Pentacles, um, not just your between you and your Cancer. This is between you and anybody else as well who comes into your energy who tries to pull some shit on you. Uh, there might have to be a payout, Virgos, with the Six of Pentacles as well. Either you guys have to make a payout to somebody or... Or somebody has to pay you with the Six of Pentacles as well. But you're standing your ground. You guys, some of you guys might be very sad as well, Virgos. The fact that people feel like they can come and take advantage of you. Or the fact that whoever you're dealing with, between your Virgo or your Cancer, put the energy where it belongs. It makes you very sad with the Queen of Swords that that people do you one like this. But you, because you guys are the Six of Wands, you guys are always staying above the game, all right? Uh, some of you guys might be very much so upset with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Energy Virgos, all right? They might be very upset when they're communicating here with you, so expect that. And if this person's going to be acting like that, you guys are not going to be responding back to them with the Four of Cups as well. Like some of you guys don't even want to hear it at, at, at this point. Somebody, you know, your Cancer might be expressing themselves with too much with too much emotion like you're all balanced out here you're sorry you're all balanced out there but you're someone's not balanced out in this energy here like they're really speaking out of emotion at this point 
uh, and it makes this person not want to respond back. Somebody here does not want to put any work or doesn't want to collab with this person at all. It is a lot of sadness, but there is another offer or an opportunity that's going to be coming for you guys. You feel like your person is very selfish and very manipulative, and they're very greedy here as well. And being like this is not going to get you to the top uh, six, five of swords, nine of wands. It doesn't make you guys feel well, Virgo. This person is coming back. And if they do come back for you, they are coming back just to manipulate you and, and hinder you to uh, sick. Somebody here works for the government or you guys have stuff that got that you guys got going on with the government at the moment, Virgo. They're saying it's causing you guys a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords, but everything's going to be just fine with the Sun cards. You guys might end up having to hear a message coming in from the government uh, or, or getting a letter or whatever the case is, but it is going to cause you guys a lot of stress. Also, Virgos, your person's coming back to communicate here with you. When they do that, it is going to be stressing you guys out, but it's saying that everything is going to be just fine, all right? They may want to make an offer for you too, Virgos, Queen of Pentacles. Your money looks like it's just going to be fine Virgos but there is a little bit of hidden stuff going on at the same time maybe there was a little bit of deception here but you're just like no you can't give anybody anything if anyone's going to be asking you for money or at, you know it's saying like no you don't have it four of pentacles like you're going through a little bit of struggles right now with the two of pentacles but once you get balance everything's going to be just fine you're the ace of pentacles to the queen of pentacles you're going to always be okay financially but there's a little bit of stuff that's going on at the moment Virgos all right you guys are just going to move forward from this connection and move away from it you guys are going to uh, hide yourself going to hermit and then you guys got the devil and the angels on your shoulders at the moment virgos and some of you guys are contemplating like what is this negative energy why what like you know it's like the left is the devil right is the angel and it's like you guys got both on each angel at the moment trying to guide you and help you but at the same time, some of you guys want to go back into your old toxic traits, but then the other half of you is telling you, no, I've come too far, uh, temperance card. Just continue to be patient with yourselves and also be patient with their, any addictions that you guys have had to go through uh, within the last nine months, Virgos, um, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, uh, you guys are going to stand in your power, Virgos, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. You guys might feel like you're being attacked at the moment, especially with whatever this person is saying to you. You guys don't like it, but you're a fine and you're good on your own. Some of you guys may not even want anything to do with your cancer or vice versa, but you guys are going to continue to prosper no matter what. Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Emperor card. Some of you guys might be businessmen or businesswomen here too, Virgos, but you guys are definitely succeeding here. This person's coming in to communicate. Yeah, Virgos, a lot of you guys might be really stressed out about money at the moment or their relationship here as well but it's saying that everything's going to be just fine you guys have an abundant amount of prosperity and an overflow of uh, a windfall coming towards you guys is going to be really prosperous for you guys ace of cups ten of pentacles that's windfall that's an abundant amount of money that's coming for you guys and you guys have been really stressed out and overthinking a whole lot with the eight of swords energy but it's simply saying like everything's going to be fine some of you guys might feel like people are attacking you left right and center because you guys are business oriented but it's saying it's none of their business you guys are going to be okay and everything is fine because you guys have been manifesting all your desires here right with the magician to the judgment card and it's time for you guys to look forward don't don't look back virgos you guys already got your hand out towards the future so there's no point of looking backwards spirit and angels are seeing all your hard work and they're saying like stand in your strength like we see we see how much you've gone through with the five of pentacles and some of you guys have had a lot of bad luck too when it comes to your relationship between you and your cancer like everything has just been so difficult virgos for some of you guys but i do see that you guys are going to be meeting up with this person maybe at night time uh hoping that you guys can heal this relationship right you guys are going to go from having a loss to being back to being finally okay again virgos you guys have been through so much pain in your life a lot of betrayal from between you and your your relationship with cancer and also your money at the same time virgos but you guys have been investing a lot and there might be a, some sort of uh, loss that's going to be coming in with the ten of wands the tower and the seven of pentacles whatever it was that you guys were investing in it might honestly come crashing down but it's saying here that you guys are going to fight for what is right and you guys are going to pick yourselves back up again nine of pentacles and you guys are going to have to make a big decision virgos on what it is you guys are going to want to do and some of you guys might go for through a breakup as well with between you and your cancer which is going to become a big loss because the energy is becoming way too heavy way too much burden way too much stress it's like you guys keep investing 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 but then nothing is going the way that you're wanting it to go it's too much arguments too much investment some of it here is also arguing about money too and it's really confusing you guys Virgos like you guys are gonna have to make a decision do you want to be in this relationship with your cancer do you not want to are you ready for that breakup and ready to stay single somebody here makes more money than the cancer or vice versa Virgos coming with the nine of pentacles 
uh, King of Swords. You're standing up for yourself with the King of Swords, Nine of, Knight of Pentacles. You're leaving it behind, Virgos, and there's going to be a huge completion that's going to be coming in. So some of you guys may literally break up between you and your Cancer. And even if you guys were to break up, they are going to come back anyway for you, hoping that you guys are going to be able to reunite with each other. This person still loves you very much, but you're going to be a little bit indecisive on whether or not you want to put in a complete ending between the two of you guys, or you guys are going to want to give it another chance. But someone's definitely defensive, Virgos, because you're still finally sitting in your power here too there could be somebody here as well with the empress to the page of swords who's doing a little bit of spying or investigation virgos as well but it's saying like you know everything is gonna everything's gonna be just fine virgos everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna be balanced up but there is a lot of pain here still like i said everything's gonna be just fine justice three of swords and the ace of wands yes you do have a lot of pain in your heart space but you're not going to allow your heartbreak and the pain in your heart space to stop you from achieving your goals with the Ace of Wands. Like you have so much better days coming ahead of you for four of Wands, Virgos. Things from the past are still bothering you and it's making you very sad. It's time for you guys to actually heal your inner child and for you guys to be able to pick yourselves up. The last thing you guys want to do is still be living in the past when you're down in the year 2041 and you guys are still thinking about the year 2012. Forget it, Virgos. Don't let that shit burden you and hinder you, all right? Continue to fight for what you want. And if that means you have to retreat and stay by yourselves for a little while, especially for the ones who might be married too, that's fine. Do that because there's a little bit of deception. And you guys are working really, really hard with the Eight of Pentacles. And it's like no matter how much you work, you feel like you're just not going anywhere. This could be also in the relationship that you're in at the moment, the marriage, Whatever it is, Virgos, whatever it is that you guys are working so hard for, it's just like you're not getting anywhere at this point. Um, you're doing the best you guys can. I would suggest that you guys just retreat, rest, and go into hermit mode for the next little while. Some of you guys need to do a little bit of still and meditation to release your old wounds. I suggest that you guys clear out your root chakra and your sacral chakra and your... Uh, and your and your solar plexus is really important, Virgos. You guys need to do, you guys need to protect or you guys need to open, release the blockages and open your sixth, fifth, and fourth chakra. Um, sorry, your first, your second, and your third chakra is what you guys are gonna have to fix Virgos on yourselves. Your root chakra, your sit your sacral, and your solar plexus. That's those are really important to fix because that's where all of the pain and blockages are hindering you from being able to release the past and to be able to move forward. And you also need to fix your heart space as well. Uh as well, Virgo. So please clear your chakras, do what you guys need to do and take care of yourselves. Thanks, cuties. Bye.